CSR in action holds car 2021 awards night in premiere of Earth Women. On the 3rd of April 2022, the CSR in Action team put together Car Awards Night and premiere of Earth Women. The Car Awards is aimed at decorating individuals who have demonstrated exemplary leadership, while Earth Women is a 13 minute dramatized documentary focused on community women, women artisanal refiners, miners, women leaders, as well as male members of communities in the oil and gas mining industries. The CSR in Action launched the Saitai Woman Initiative to tactfully question and reverse norms that have culturally and systematically hampered women's progress with a special focus on equity inclusion justice and gender-based violence in host communities in nigeria in attendance were dignities and well wishes and here are highlights from the event we are going ahead or we've gone ahead to premiere the earth women documentary it is a documentary that basically speaks to women in rural extractive communities and addresses issues of gender-based violence, issues of discrimination. It addresses um, issues of culturally promoted human rights abuses. I'm happy that the movie or the documentary came out so well. It wasn't an easy process. Uh, it took a long time visiting communities, identifying people who are willing to share stories. As I said during the panel, Community members are feeling that they have shared their story over and over again and that now what they expect are changes, changes to be effected by policymakers, by those in positions of authority that can influence things in their favor. So I am hoping that even as powerful as this documentary is, that it will attract the attention of those who have the power and the resources to change things for these communities. I personally have always wanted to do something for, for women. Um, I've been blessed by, to be in the midst of women, you know, to have done so many things and to have been inspired so strongly by women, women bosses, my wife, my mom, and, and stuff like that. So when this idea, you know, came to support women of industry, women who through sheer perseverance have been able to survive all the ills that you know they've been used to, all the you know uh, uh, lack of service that they've been assaulted with, the restivity you know and, and all the challenges that they face in the extractive communities and yet they come out you know preaching success for their family members, I said we have to be a part of this. It's not been easy producing this documentary. It's been two years in the making. Even though we had secured funding for this, it was still a challenge to bring it to life. Now, I consider myself a creative, but I've never actually had to produce a movie before. My company, uh, one of my companies, General Consulting, is into reputation management. So we do a few videos for clients, but this is not the same thing. This is is huge and you know we had to go into different communities some were hostile um, we needed to um, meet with victims some were afraid um, so it wasn't just about money it was also about access it was also about telling the story the way it needed to be told um, but I'm glad that we're here today and I think that it's been a huge success I listened to and heard the gasps from people when um, the lady who lost her child uh, told her story when the lady whose husband beat her from 5 uh, a.m. in the morning to 4 p.m. in the evening the next day and I hope that they're truly positively traumatized into taking some of the actions that we want. I don't think I'm, 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 we don't know that there is a problem. I don't want to remember.
There's a lot of conflict in the regions that these minerals come from. The entire processes of even exploration, it goes beyond even where these activities are taking place. As long as extraction means you are bringing something from below the surface of the earth, that process always has a kind of impact generally.